Clerk, would you please call the roll? Um, Bishop. Yes. Bishop. Yes. Here. Bishop. 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 Here. We have a quorum. Item number four, discussion and action on the consent agenda. All of the following items, which concern reports and items of a routine nature normally approved at city council meetings, will be approved by one vote of the council. Any member of the council desiring to discuss an item on the consent agenda may request that it be removed from the consent agenda and placed for discussion as the next item on the regular agenda. It will then be considered separately. The consent agenda consists of the consideration and action on the following items. A, approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of July 5th, 2016, and B, approval of claims in the amount of $174,305.71 and payroll expenses of $83,337.41. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. I have a motion by Councilman Miller and a se second by Councilman Benson to approve the consent agenda. Any discussion? If you'd call the roll. Miller? Yes. Benson? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Stelling? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Hanifer? Yes. Valencia? Yes. Item number six, reports from boards and officers. The Alva Arena Authority Committee, or Alva Arena Authority meeting. Joe Don? Well, um, we put this on. There was a question at the last meeting. I did not have any information on that. Uh, but their meeting on July 5th was relatively routine. They uh, did dis approve minutes, discuss claims in their bank accounts. They also had some discussions about uh, site and whether or not to use an existing site, whether or not to purchase a new site, uh, what the economic impact of uh, some of the designs may be. Um, they did not have any uh, um, discussion from their subcommittee for from the prefect complex designs. And I believe they are scheduled, after talking to our representative, I believe they're scheduled for a special meeting on the 25th of this month. So there may be some additional information after that meeting. Okay. Any questions for Joe Don on this item? Airport Commission meeting. Councilman Miller. It was a rather routine meeting last Monday. Um, we had one item on the agenda for discussion and action. That was a ground lease. Uh, for a new box hanger uh, along the new taxiway that was approved. Uh, and then there was no action taken on the T hanger bids as the committee had not had a chance to meet on that, but uh, there's a special meeting now to discuss that for uh, next week. Questions for Councilman Miller? Can you tell us who it is that's building the new hanger? No. Okay. I don't know. Joe Don. Talk to them, but I have not heard of With the new hangar, our new hangar or the new lease hangar? The new lease hangar. The new lease hangar is being built by uh, Jason, your know, JC Flying Services, Jason Costanza. Um, there were several companies that put in a bid for our hangar that we're going to construct, and um, the committee has met. And they're going to be ready to make a they ready to make a recommendation. I believe we've got a special meeting scheduled for uh, tomorrow. On that. Any additional questions, Councilman Miller? Would you also give the finance committee report? Uh, I was late to that meeting. Um, Councilman Council Council Benson or Councilman Hannaford? Wanna... We didn't do anything until he got there. <laughs> He's waiting on the chairman. <laughs> now we went we went over the uh, expenditures and uh, looked at those and approved them and uh, talked a little more about. Uh, oh my goodness, I've lost my train of thought here after I've said that. <laughs> we 
did have some large purchases um, to OMAG, um, OSBI, of course the uh, hotel tax fund of Freedom West for the signage was $25,000. Our street materials we bought out nearly $20,000. Um, so some of those are the purchase orders and claims that we signed off on. We talked a little bit about some of our uh, investments, our CDs, uh, looked at where some of those were and reviewed and talked about and discussed the audit a little bit. Anyone have questions for anyone who may have attended that meeting? I may not have. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't believe that uh, Mayor Parker had a written report to uh, go over, so um, city business manager's report. General. Well, I've touched on some of it already with the uh, evaluation of the T-hanger bids. We will be opening up uh, the South Share hangar repairs at, for the airport uh, on the 21st of this month. Uh, the evaluation committee is slated, will be slated to meet after we receive those bids hopefully have a recommendation for the next airport committee meeting on a plan of improvement for the South share hangar. Uh, to give everybody an update on the Integris Alva Medical Center permit application, I have been in contact with uh, the Planning Commission and have requested a list of questions which the Planning Commission would need to uh, make a recommendation to this body answered. I've asked for that to be, uh, those questions to be sent to, uh, delivered to me by the 29th of this month. I'll then compile those questions and send them to Integris and establish a timeline for them to answer the questions. And whether we can plan the next planning commission meeting for that, for that issue. As far as streets are concerned, we are we did hit a, uh, a weather event last week. Um, didn't get quite as far along on Young Street as we would have liked. There was some work that we had to do on the street prior to doing the overlay. And then it rained. And then we had to go back and redo the work. We expect to have Young Street completed by the end of this week. Once we are uh, completed with that, the next overlay project we have uh, slated will probably be in two weeks and we're going to concentrate around some of the schools and try to get some overlay work done in the schools around the schools um, in the week prior uh, between that we'll be working on prep work for those areas around schools uh, we will be doing a uh, chip and seal up on uh, Harper Road also um, over the past well, late last year, late in uh, June, I was contacted by OMAG about performing a, uh, about them performing a uh, closed circuit television inspection of our sanitary sewers, uh, some of our problem areas. This happened last week. Uh, Luck and Bill came up and inspected about 1,200 linear feet. And this was at no charge to us. OMAG paid for this. Um, we, I'm going to say we didn't get a, uh, an excellent re report. Some of these sewer lines that we had them inspect, we need to go back and do some work. Uh, there's a lot of tree limbs that have uh, penetrated the clay pipelines that we're going to need to address. Um, there's a lot of uh, broken pipeline that we're going to need to address and a lot of issues that we found. There are several issues that we found. Um, they are making a recommendation of a root control program that should work better than what we're using. And I'll be getting with Russell about that. They finished this up on the 15th. I got the written report on this on the 15th of last week. Um, did have a few questions about the recycle uh, program out at the landfill. Um, we've got the part the parts that we are working on right now, which would be the um, 
the, uh, the electronic recycle. And so we've got a roll-off box full of electronics now that we're going to have to have somebody, somebody over here to go through. Uh, we'll be contacting the company in Enid for that and have them come over and do it for whatever they can get out of the um, electronics and then haul the rest of it off. Um, may try to have a, uh, a community event in tandem with that for the same purpose of electronics. Um, have, a, have some, a place where some people can bring electronic and have somebody go through it. Um, we are still working toward doing some of the other recycling that we uh, have talked about in the past, but we haven't got much further than the last time we talked about it. And uh, Mr. President, that would be my report. I'd be happy. Oh, I do. I, I do have one other thing. Um, at the next council meeting, we will have the new EMS director. We hired, I hired an EMS director last week. He will be starting full time. His first day full time with us is going to be on August 1st. He is a gentleman that has been doing some part time work for us in the past, over the past, so he's not new to our system. He'll, be, he'll just be a new full time employee uh, for us. I'll have him here to meet you at the August 1st council meeting. And with that, uh, that would be all of my report, Mr. President, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have or anybody may have. Any questions for the business manager? Okay, item number seven, discussion and action on resolution 2016-005. An FY17 budget amendment in the amount of $9,999, a grant from Community Bank for the purpose of purchasing a new Guardian Fogger. Mr. Don? Um, late last year, uh, uh, Community Bank contacted me about being able to, uh, or partnering with us on the purchase of a Fogger. We did agree to that. Uh, we they granted us nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars for that purchase. It was not budgeted at the time, um, but we have made the purchase. Uh, they with that nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, it's uh, purchased the Fogger, a trailer to put it on, uh, at least one round of chemical. And there should be enough funds left over for at least another round of chemical. Um, the plant, the park and building committee is slated for a meeting tonight, which one of the discussion items will be uh, the recommended usage for this fogger. Right now we've been using it, uh, we used it 4th of July uh, to take advantage of some training opportunities for the person that will be Making application, we did go out to the country club over uh, for their Neskatunga event. Uh, we've gone out now. One of the processes we've gone through now is we sprayed this morning at all the parks again and out at the rec center to help control the uh, flying insects out there. And we will be evaluated on the length of time that remains effective. So, and we're using the rec center right now as that evaluation because a lot of people are going out there for uh, ball games and uh, events, and there have been a few complaints about the mosquitoes. So now that we've sprayed, we want to kind of see how long that that application lasts. Um, but I would recommend making the, uh, passing the resolution for the budget adjustment. Any questions for city manager? Do I have a motion on resolution 2016-005? Move to approve resolution 2016-005. Second. A motion from Councilman Benson and a second from Councilman Eckhart to approve <coughs> resolution 2016-005. An FY17 budget amendment in the amount of $9,999 to reflect a grant from Community Bank for the purpose of purchasing a new Guardian Fogger. 
Any further discussion? Would you please call the roll? Yes. Miller? Yes. 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 Item number eight, discussion and action on the acceptance of the FY15 annual audit. Uh, this is the 1415 annual audit. We've just got it, we got it just in time to start our 1516 annual audit. Um, this is a clean audit, meaning they that the uh, financial, in, a, in the auditor's opinion, the financial statements that they were that they were given uh, reflect the uh, account, uh, good good accounting practices and uh, accurately reflect the business of the city of Alva. There were four findings that we'll have to address. We've already started addressing those. Those were listed in the back of the audit. If you took the time to. Uh, Go completely through that. Uh, it's a good night. It's good bedtime reading if you uh, have a chance. But the these these fi findings were that they found a few occasions where uh, the purchase order was not re um, obtained prior to the goods and services. Um, that the uh, governing body. Um, so the governing body, the governing board of the municipality may enter into an agreement of a lease for personal property, uh, but basically the, we are holding the, this is from two years ago when we bought our lease equipment. The, at the time, the bank requested that we put those in our name. Auditor said it should have stayed in the bank's name. We've got to, re, we've got to reverse that and put it back in the bank's name. I have talked to the bank about that, and they are, uh, they are agreeable. They, they do agree that it should have been done that way to begin with. Um, there was uh, an occasion where we didn't follow through with the uh, well, the the gun range was another issue. Uh, whereas the committee that <coughs> is doing the construction for the gun range did follow bidding pro the bidding protocols for the city of Alva. That did not ultimately come to the city of Alva for approval. We will have to go through and approve, uh, accept that construction ret retroactively. Um, and they wrote us up on that. And then there were some uh, remittance slips that were not with the collection documentation that we will be working to have cleared up before our June 30, 2016 audit. Uh, what this audit does reflect is that it does reflect a $1.3 million increase in cash and investments. Um, then it, and receivables had gone from 1.7, or stayed about the same, 1.79 to, it had gone down a little bit to 1.77. And our debt service had gone from 500 and uh, had increased $576,000. Uh, the total debt service at the end of June 2015 was $4,018,976. Um, and upon your acceptance of this audit, it will be made available on the city's website and sent to all the appropriate parties. Any questions regarding the audit for Joe Dog? We have a motion on the acceptance of the uh, FY 2014-15 annual audit. The motion to accept the fiscal year 2014-15 annual audit. Second. A motion from Councilman Hannaford and a second from Councilman Miller to accept the FY 2014-15 annual audit. Any further discussion? Would you please call the roll? Hanford? Yes. Miller? Yes. Stelling? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Benson? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Valencia? Yes. 
Item number nine, discussion and action to purchase a fire utility vehicle in the amount of $34,882 from Mark Green Motors. This is a uh, budgeted purchase. Um, one of the reasons that we are looking at this capital expenditure at this point in time in the budget year is there is um, well, the two reasons we're looking at it is one there are dollars attached to the purchase of this vehicle that we should be receiving in the next month or so and to the uh, deadline for purchasing a new vehicle off of the current state contract is the 21st of this month um, the budget the uh, original budget for this purchase was three thirty thousand one hundred and fifty six dollars um, but the fire department has a uh, grant funds available which they control where they've gone out and collected money or been granted money for uh, the purpose of purchasing equipment that they would need and they were going to uh, transfer four thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars of that fund into the city's coffers to purchase this vehicle um, it is it is uh, slightly above what the uh, state contract price is um, but it is a local purchase um, the other purchase it, once you factored in the manpower and the time to go get it there I mean there's a difference of nine hundred and sixty seven dollars but once we factored in the manpower and the time to go get the pickup from Midwest City and get it back to Alva and mileage we had already spent more than that nine hundred and sixty seven dollars that's that's what makes the this purchase from Mark Reams one of one of the reasons this purchase from Mark Reams is the lowest and best bid um, see the uh, there is a three month delivery time on the vehicle so once we order it assuming we order it tomorrow we can we would not expect delivery for three months does come with a three-year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper and five-year 100,000 mile drivetrain warranty uh, the equipment necessary to outfit the truck um, lights sirens radios that all that equipment has been bought already with grant funds in last budget year budget year 1516 uh, with the anticipation of getting this pickup this year so we there'll be not be an extra expense for outfitting the pick the vehicle this emergency vehicle like there has been for other vehicles that we've purchased um, and with that I'd answer any questions and if there are no questions I'd certainly recommend the purchase and we'll move forward with this are there any questions for Joe Don? Do we have a motion on the purchase of a fire utility vehicle from Mark Green Motors? I'll make a motion that we purchase a fire utility vehicle in the amount of $34,882 from Mark Green Motors. Second. <coughs> a motion from Councilman Benson and a second from Councilman mm -hmm. Hannaford to purchase a fire utility vehicle in the amount of $34,882 from Mark Green Motors. Any other discussion? Please call the roll. Benson? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Stone? Yes. Valencia? Yes. Miller? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Bedford? Yes. Uh, one thing before we go on to the next item, uh, Mr. President, is that there will be a budget adjustment at a future meeting to reflect that money that we weren't expecting. Okay. Item number 10, remarks and inquiries by citizens. Seeing none, item number 11, remarks and inquiries by council members. I, I'd like to comment on the cruise night that happens Saturday evening. I thought there was a great turnout. It was, I don't know how they got the weather to be so nice to cooperate with them. It was a beautiful evening and I thought a big turnout and looked like everybody was enjoying themselves. I'm glad that uh, the chamber and whoever else helped with that did that. Looked like a lot of activity on the boulevard. 
Any other comments? Okay, we'll close the meeting of the Alva City Council and we will open the meeting of the Alva Utility Authority. Would you please call the roll? Here. We have a quorum. Item number three, discussion and action on the consent agenda. All of the following items, which concern reports and items of a routine nature, normally approved at AUA meetings, will be approved by one vote of the authority. Any trustee desiring to discuss an item on the consent agenda may request that it be removed from the consent agenda and placed for discussion as the next item on the regular agenda. It will then be considered separately. The consent agenda consists of the consideration and action on the following items. Item A, approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of July 5, 2016, and B, approval of claims in the amount of $20,611.03 and payroll expenses of $17,421.20. Do I have a motion to accept the consent agenda? So moved. A motion from Councilman Benson and a second from Councilman Eckhart to approve the consent agenda. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Benson? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Hanford? Yes. Miller? Yes. Miller. Yes. 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 Item number five, discussion and action to declare 3,000 plus water meters. A surplus and authorized disposal by sealed bid. Well, um, what we'll be doing, we just finished our AMR project. We've got over 3,000 water meters that need to be declared surplus and disposed of. I have several companies that have um, called and are interested in um, bidding on these surplus meters. Uh, we would, uh, this time, our anticipation would be that we would. Advertise in the newspaper for um, that we would be accepting bids. Also, do some direct mailings to the companies that have contacted us up until now about this. Have them submit bids. Um, choose a date, open the bids, and then evaluate the bids as to what we could get if we took them to the scrapyard ourselves, and uh, then accept the. The, uh, the the greatest the greatest good for the city of Alva. Um, that would be the that would be the anticipation for this. We have several other items that we may be listing for uh, sealed bid at the same time that have been previously declared surplus. Um, but it, time to do a little summer cleaning. Questions for John? Some some would probably be for resale. Some would be salvage surplus. Uh, they're looking for um, for the brass. Clean it up. And, yeah. So they're probably going to be looking to buy it on the cheap. Be my expect my expectation. Any additional questions? I entertain a motion to declare 3,000 plus water meters as surplus and authorized disposal by sealed bid. So moved. I think you didn't actually make that as a motion. I make a motion to declare 3,000 plus <coughs> water meters surplus and to dispose of them by sealed bid. Thank you. Do I have a second? A motion from Councilman Benson and a second from Councilman Fisher to declare 3,000 plus water meters as surplus and authorize disposal by sealed bid. Any further discussion? Call the roll. Benson? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Stelling? Yes. Valencia? Yes. Miller? Yes. Hanford? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Okay, we will close the meeting of the Alva Utility Authority and 
hope in the meeting of the Alva Economic Development Authority. Should please call the roll. Benson? Yeah, here. Fisher? Here. Melton? Here. Stelling? Here. Item number three, discussion and action on the consent agenda. All the following items which concern reports and items of a routine nature normally approved at AEDA meetings will be approved by one vote of the board. Any trustee desiring to discuss an item on the consent agenda may request that it be removed from the consent agenda and placed for discussion as the next item on the regular agenda. It will then be considered separately. The consent agenda consists of the consideration and action on the following items. Item A, approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of, and I believe that should be July 5th, 2016. And item B, approval of claims in the amount of $4,881.11 and payroll expenses of $4,219.97. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Is it also going to be 2016? Yes, I, I stated that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. And that is as amended. As amended, yes. Thank you. Second. A motion from Councilman Hannaford and a second from Councilman Eckhart to approve the consent agenda as amended. Any further discussion? Can I call the roll? Hannaford? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Benson? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Stelling? Yes. Valencia? Yes. Miller? Yes. This meeting is adjourned.